Assembling a High Quality Model Steam Plant Part 4 Unboxing the HB6 Boiler from Stuart Models The plan originally was to use two small Cotswold Heritage Boilers, but when the second boiler arrived, the specification wasn't right, and instead of replacing the boiler, Cotswold Heritage refunded his money. So now, instead of using a Cotswold Heritage Boiler or Boilers, He's bought this one from Stuart Models, and it's an HB6 type of boiler. And because this is a large box, my preferred medieval weapon of mass destruction to open the box is a Danish war axe. This is very sharp indeed, and it's very nasty. And the first thing to do is to remove the leather safety guard. And you can see now how sharp this axe is. Looking at the way it's slicing through the tape on this box, it must have been one of the ultimate weapons of its day. And who would have thought all these years on, it's still ideal for opening large boxes containing model steam engine boilers. I'm nearly in there already, just this side to remove. And yes, here we go, and straight through, no trouble at all. I think that's it for the Danish war axe, the job is done. I'm going to replace the guard very quickly before I chop my arm off, or worse. So here comes the leather guard. And I'm still being very careful not to cut my fingers because this blade is incredibly sharp. Here we go, very, very careful. No blood. Yes, that's a good sign. The blade is so sharp it's starting to cut through the leather guard. I think I might have to get a better one. Right then, that's enough about medieval weapons of mass destruction. It's now time to open the box and look inside. The first thing that I see is an invoice receipt from Stuart Models. I'll put that on one side. And underneath that is an envelope, I'll have a look in there shortly. And then all of these things, I really hate these things, they go everywhere, all over my kitchen table, all over the kitchen floor. So this time I'm going to use a green carrier bag to try and catch every one of them. The first thing to pull out of the box is this. This is the gas pipe, which goes to the gas jet holder from the gas tank I assume. When I was a young child and I used to go to garden fates, they had something called a bran tub which was sawdust, and you put your hand in and pulled out presents, and this is very reminiscent of that time. Although back in the day, I don't remember ever pulling out a pair of Stuart check valves. Well, I can't seem to find anything else for the moment, but I can see a small box at the left-hand side, and in order to open this small box, I'm using the smaller of my Viking axes. And this axe is much more manoeuvrable, and it also has a secondary function, which is you can throw it at people. And it's also pretty good for opening small cardboard boxes. I wonder what's in this one. I can see some more Stuart paperwork and, oh no, a load more of these polystyrene chipping things. So, once again, into the bag with those, trying really hard not to drop any of them. Once I'd emptied the box, I noticed that it said large refillable gas tank on it, so I guess there is a large refillable gas tank inside. And here it is. Nothing required to open this, this is very feeble stuff, and I can just split the packaging apart with my bare hands. And sure enough, inside the packaging, there is a large refillable gas tank, and very nice it is too. It looks very well made, and it's very nicely painted. And now, the part you've all been waiting for. This is the boiler itself, and it's inside some sort of cling film stuff, so I'm really carefully removing this. No Viking axes or sharp instruments for this job. Just sheer brute force of my fingers. I really am being very careful with this job because on the top of the boiler is the pressure gauge siphon with the pressure gauge which is very easily damaged and of course, last but not least, the water gauge which is equally fragile. This boiler is a thing of beauty. It's fitted with a very large ceramic burner and I do notice there is an anti-howl ring which is fitted around the primary air inlet to help prevent the howling problem that is common in centre-flue boilers. What are my thoughts on this boiler? I really do like it. A 6-inch diameter boiler is a very generous capacity, and provided that the burner works OK and boils the water, it should be perfect for providing enough steam to power both the Twin Victoria and the Southworth duplex pump, which is going to be used for feeding cold water into the boiler. Here are all the accessories laid out on the table. There's the gas pipe, a pair of clacks, a gas tank, a universal adapter filler for filling the tank from a gas canister, and a direct gas canister adapter, as well as a number 12 gas jet. Now that I have every one of the components that I require, I can start building this plant very soon.
and as it says in the title, this will be a very high quality steam plant. I'm looking forward to building it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.